Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Armormax Defense, a South African company based in Johannesburg, unveiled its latest innovation, the TAC-6, on April 17, 2024. The TAC-6 is a versatile 6x6 tactical vehicle engineered to cater to diverse needs in civilian as well as military sectors. Originally crafted for the French Special Forces, it has undergone enhancements to support tasks spanning from firefighting to secure weapon transit. Derived from the reliable Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series, the TAC-6 by Armormax Defense has undergone significant enhancements. These modifications include the addition of a third axle, boosting both off-road performance and payload capacity to 4,400 kg. Armormax Defense highlights the TAC SIXS resilience in challenging conditions, with its gross vehicle mass now reaching 7 tons. Michael Broom, overseeing sales and marketing at Armormax Defense, disclosed that the TAC SIXS development originally targeted the French Special Forces. However, the project was adapted when the pandemic disrupted the initial evaluation by the French Special Forces. Armormax independently financed the project, resulting in the TAC-6 being available in single and double cab configurations. Extensive testing, covering over 250,000 kilometers across diverse terrains in Africa and Europe, was conducted to assess the TAC SIXS mobility and durability. Armormax Defense compares its performance against existing full-sized 4-ton trucks, with rigorous trials conducted alongside the French Special Forces. During testing, the TAC-6 experienced only two failures, both attributed to operator error with overloaded and burnt clutches, rather than mechanical issues. Engineered with military deployment in mind, the TAC-6 can be transported in a standard 20-foot ISO shipping container, facilitating discrete international deployment. This design feature allows for various configurations, including turret-mounted weapon systems ranging from 12.7mm to 30mm calibers, mortar systems, and roles such as personnel carrier, ammunition carrier, and logistical support. Domestically, the TAC-6 is being considered by the South African Special Forces and the South African National Defense Force for tasks such as Border Patrol, reflecting its versatility and potential for national security operations. The TAC-6 has undergone testing with a range of weapon systems, including the Centauri 12.7mm remotely operated weapon station and the To The Point International TTPI, Gunslinger 12.7mm manual turret. During testing in Europe, the French military installed 60 and 81mm mortars as well as a 12.7mm turret on the TAC-6. In preparation for upcoming demonstrations like the Africa Aerospace and Defense AAD, exhibition, Armormax Defense is collaborating with a global supplier to equip and test an 81mm mortar. Notably, the TAC-6 is equipped with a hydraulic stabilizer that engages at speeds below 5 km per hour, securing the axle to the chassis to reduce lateral movement caused by recoil from heavy caliber weapons, thus enhancing firing stability for cannons ranging from 20 to 30 mm. Regarding protection, Armormax provides various armor options for the TAC-6, including a Stanag Level 1 vehicle armor capable of resisting shell fragments and bullets from 7.62mm and 5.56mm firearms. The vehicle also features lightweight armor and 40mm ballistic glass replacing the original windows. The TAC-6 boasts a specially designed transmission, the ZF-8 HP 98-speed automatic transmission, developed in collaboration between ZF in South Africa and Germany. This transmission aims to improve performance in high gross vehicle mass, GVM, off-road conditions, replacing older manual transmissions. The vehicle's transfer case utilizes gear drives instead of chains and is constructed from aerospace-grade aluminum, contributing to its structural integrity. Additionally, it utilizes Dana drive shafts and other standard OEM components, simplifying field maintenance. The TAC-6 boasts a unique design featuring a third axle, boosting its traction by 50% compared to conventional 4x4 vehicles. This innovation proves invaluable in sandy terrains, providing exceptional flotation and stability, as noted in trials by South African defense journalists. Strengthened strategically, the vehicle's chassis enhances stability without the need for hefty anti-sway bars. Despite its extended length and the addition of the third axle, journalists report that the TAC-6 handles much like a large SUV, aided by features like a built-in reverse camera that simplifies maneuvering. 
On paved roads, the TAC SIXS ZF8 HP 98-speed automatic transmission facilitates seamless gear transitions, swiftly shifting from 2nd to 6th gear. Powered by a 4.5-liter V8 engine, it achieves cruising speeds up to 120 km per hour and a maximum speed of 160 km per hour. With a ground clearance of 265 mm, an approach angle of 40 degrees, and a departure angle of 38 degrees, the TAC-6 ensures adept navigation over various terrains. The manual version delivers 202 horsepower at 3,400 rpm, while the automatic variant yields 257 horsepower at the same rpm. As ArmorMax Defense gears up for the Africa Aerospace and Defense Show in September, pricing for base conversion with a manual gearbox starts at 1.5 million rands, 78,000 US dollars. Armor options, starting at 850,000 rands, 44,200 US dollars, for Stanag Level 1, offer flexibility, with light and discrete armor sets beginning at 880,000 rands, 45,800 US dollars, or 1.3 million rands, 67,600 US dollars, for B4 and B6 armor levels, respectively. That's all for now, see you later.